Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. When something gets popular, you can expect there to be a lot of bootlegs of that thing. Take, for example, Super Mario. You could probably find bootlegs of that everywhere. I see them all the time at the flea market. Something that's especially prevalent at the flea market is bootleg poppy playtime toys. I swear I see those all the time, but that's a wormhole that I'm never going to get into on this channel. But basically, Monster High dolls have been around for well over 10 years at this point, and when something is that old, even out of their prime, bootlegs of it will always exist. And that's what I wanted to talk about in today's video. I used to make videos on fake dolls all the time, but most of it was just me laughing at it, not really adding any insightful commentary. But today, I dug through AliExpress, I dug through eBay, I went through Google Images, just to name a few of my sources. I even went on Amazon, where these are still somewhat popularly sold. I meant commonly sold, but you know, you get it. And today I wanted to show you guys some of the most prevalent, easy to find Monster High fakes that there are. One of them is gonna get a whole segment in herself, but yeah, basically we're going through AliExpress and looking at Monster High fakes. What more do you want? Let's begin. Finding these listings on AliExpress is pretty simple. I just looked at Monster High and these popped up. They always have these word vomit titles, like Monster High Doll Body, Multi Joints, Movable Doll Body Heads, Figure, Brown, White, Green, Pink, Beige, Purple Body, Bald Head, Doll Heads. You know, gotta make sure you're covering all the bases. And right here you can see that these dolls do actually use official Monster High doll molds. I believe the way they get these is by just you know, doing the customizing process on them. You get the doll head, the official doll head, and then you make a mold of it, and then they reuse it. Like some of these dolls have Frankie's head molds, some have Claudine's, others have Draculaura's. The majority of them here seem to use Frankie's head mold though. I see a lot of ghostly white Frankie's, which it's good for customizers, you know? If you want to make a ghostly white character and you don't want to have Spectra's cheekbones, one of these AliExpress fakes could be a good fit for you. You'll notice that they're pretty cheap. Like, this Draculaura head was only $3.49. It's not awful. And they have free shipping most of the time. This one does have a shipping price, but overall, these fakes are pretty good for customizers. They're also just good if you are interested in owning a Monster High fake. I personally do have one. Not one of the AliExpress ones, the one I have is unarticulated and on some sort of weird brat's body. I'll show you guys that one later in the video, but this is just the surface of Monster High fake dolls on AliExpress. As we continue on, there are things like this white Claudine head, which is, again, cool for a customizer. Say if you don't have access to Sylvie or if you want to make a purely white character instead of like a gray character like Sylvia's. There you go, ghostly white Claudine. I also found this listing of a bunch of fake boys, most of which use the Holt Hyde Jackson Chackle face mold. And if you think the picture here makes them look a little goofy, let me show you the close up. As you can see, the heads in question are very warped and squished. And for some reason, they've changed Holt Hyde's skin tone from being blue to a human skin tone. He's brown. We've also got Jackson, who isn't looking much better. But his head's not as warped as uh, Holtz was. But I mean, for $6.39, what can you really expect? There are also these bizarre hybrid dolls on there, such as these Enchantimals knockoff heads that I'm 90% sure aren't real, that are using Monster High bodies. They look interesting, for sure, but I'm starting to understand why Mattel never made a teen version of Enchantimals, because these look horrifying. These are another interesting thing that I found. They were only on like the first few pages of AliExpress. These use the fake, well, the real Monster High Mermaid Create a Monster Kit as a mold. And they just recreated that tail and put a body on it. It's honestly kind of cool if you want to make a mermaid character, but you don't want to make the tail. Again, these were super cheap. They were only $6 and I think that they'd be really good like for a customizer. Or just for anyone who wants a mermaid Monster High doll and can't afford the or can't find the Create a Monster pack. The heads look bad, though. <laughs> They're clearly bootleg. Another strange genre of image on AliExpress are these cursed ones that are so bizarre you just have to click on them, such as this Draculaura with a braid coming out of her mouth and out of her eyebrows. Most of the time, these listings are overpriced because they're official heads with different hair rooted into them. 
Sometimes they do have the official rooting, other times you come across something like this Meality whose face paint has been wiped off and her head has been rooted in red. There's several heads in the listing like this. I, I don't know why they wiped her face paint off. But of course, AliExpress isn't the only place to find fakes. There are also fakes pretty much everywhere. You can even find them on Mercari, most of the time listed as bootlegs sold for that purpose. But on eBay, you can find them as well. And most of the time, they are not... They're not... They're not labeled as bootlegs. One of the most famous is Wadona Spider. Whenever you look up Wadona Spider, this bootleg will come up. She is the most notorious Monster High bootleg, to the point that there are people who put out official comparisons to make sure that people don't get tricked into buying the bootleg. Here is that aforementioned comparison so you know what to watch out for. They're labeled as real and fake. But yeah, Widona is the character who has the most bootlegs made of her. And honestly, I feel like the only reason that is is because of her unique body. Having six arms is pretty cool after all. I'm thinking that's the only reason she has so many, but I swear more people have the bootleg than they do the official doll. There are so many Widona bootlegs, but there's even more of the main three characters. We're going to put a pin in the Widona thing and come back to it. For now, we're going to talk about bootlegs that almost look good. This Claudine face honestly looks really good. I like it. This Draculaura, it almost looks official. Her head's just a little too pink. So, why am I bringing these up? Because for every good one, there is one terrible one, like this one. She's Pinkie Pie Pink on a much lighter body with a fake dead tired outfit on and brown hair instead of black. Well, at least you can't say they didn't try. Most Widona listings are paired with these other dolls. For instance, the Claudine, who the same listing uses these photos, but these are the other photos in the listing, so it's unclear which one you're actually going to get if you were to buy from this. Not that I recommend you do. After all, this listing is charging $30 per doll. That's $30 for these. So if you thought AliExpress prices might have been a little out of pocket for what they actually are, just remember that this exists and it's $30. And may I remind you, that's individually. They're not like charging $30 for all four, it's $30 each. So yeah, fun times. Now I did mention that other sites have fake dolls and this is one that I found on Mercari just by looking up Monster High Fake. Unfortunately, this is the only listing I was able to find. If you guys find any more on, oh, on anywhere, I guess. Feel free to send them to me. I'd like to start making videos about bootlegs again. It's kind of fun. But basically, this is a bootleg themed around Boo York, Boo York. Packaging-wise, at least. They almost got it right. They put a picture of Goliope on the front for some reason. That's not the line that she's from. On the back of her box, we see Boo York, Boo York, a fashion musical. And they just have the word fashion everywhere. And there's a little bubble that says new. Under the sun, we grow together. Yeah, we're just like plants, for real. Of course, Amazon has to throw their hat into the ring, too. They've also got some fakes. This is the first listing I was able to find, and I honestly didn't bother looking for more after finding this one because it's one of those multi-listings where there's multiple different things. And as you can see, they're all incredibly overpriced. To get five of these fake dolls, it's $40. The other listing that is five dolls, they're unarticulated, is $30. Then there's another one, and it's three dolls, has a Widona in it, $15. Bit more reasonable, but still more than you would want to pay for a bootleg ever. I found this multi-listing that just has a bunch of Bratz pieces packaged with Frankie. They're fake Frankie. Just tons of Bratz pieces. I see Campfire Chloe's skirt. Is that Phoebe's top from Eye Candy? Just tons of random Bratz pieces with her. These just get very random, honestly. Like, they're just super random. Remember when I said we'd come back to the fake Widonas? Well, we just saw a bunch in that Amazon listing, so why don't we look at some more pictures of her? This Widona fake started showing up around the same time that she was first revealed. I don't know if it was during the Fang vote, the original one for the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive of her, or if it was after the release of her Power Ghouls doll. I'd like to say Power Ghouls because... A lot of the fakes do depict her wearing the Power Ghouls outfit and have Scaris City of Frights themed packaging for some reason. Pretty random stuff. 
I say that this fake Winona is really good for customizers. If you have the ability to redo this doll's face and make it look more official, honestly, power to you. That's awesome. I would love to have that amount of ability, that kind of skill. But these do unfortunately trick people sometimes. As you can see, the doll is not the most well-made, but to new fans, I'm pretty sure this would trick them. New fans, kids. I wouldn't judge someone for falling for this doll being real. When I was a little kid looking for a Widona on eBay, these fakes were everywhere. I found her for like 10 bucks and showed her to my mom, and my mom was like, no, I'm not buying you that. It's not real. And I was like, what are you talking about? That's her. She's like, no, it's a bootleg. So I wouldn't judge anyone for falling for these. I fell for it when I was like 10. But basically, Widona has the most fakes. They're everywhere. It's the easiest one to find alongside the main three. That's why they even depict her with the main three here. It's strange, because Widona's a pretty overlooked character, all things considered, yet in the bootleg department, she has probably the most that exist. I actually found a review of a fake Widona from uh, Tyna Rodriguez, not Rodriguez, just Rodriguez on Tumblr, and some of the things that they note is that the doll comes in a weird powder, she's got a weird powder on her face, and her head was pushed all the way down to her shoulders so she had no neck. The doll did include some extra accessories in addition to this core outfit that you see on her now. She included a little pair of heels with butterflies on them, a little red skelet purse, and what seems to be a knockoff Count Fabulous with a white bow and white sweater. Interesting. When you scroll down into the photos, I don't know why I'm not showing you guys this. I kind of can't. I'll link this Tumblr post if you want to see them. But as I scroll down, you can see the white powder that's on her face. The doll's wonky. Overall, the head looks pretty well made. They almost rooted it perfectly on the rooting line, so props to them for that. She's got a big bald spot in the middle of her head. Kind of looks like a tree stump. Lots of rings wrapped around it. Once again, this is linked in the description. Please check it out. And yeah, they also note that the body feels like rubber rather than hard plastic, which is certainly interesting. And there's lots of visible seam lines. If you don't know what seam lines are, it's usually like the lines around all along the sides of doll pieces sometimes, like the side of the legs, side of the arms. Usually it's like indication that the doll is newer. Sometimes rainbow high dolls have them. But yeah, that's interesting, don't you think? I feel like the world of fake monster high dolls is way too vast to cover in one video, but I think I've given you guys a good look at the surface of it at least. These are the most easy to find ones. I just went on AliExpress, looked up fake Monster High dolls. I found the eBay ones just by looking up Widona Spider right there. Literally right there on like the first page. And Amazon, I was also on the first page. I just looked up Monster High and scrolled a little and there it was. These are the easiest to find. There's obviously more rare ones. There's like the pictures that people can actually take at their local stores and send to you of what they actually see out in the wild. Those ones are some of my favorites. And yeah, there's also like fake brands, but there are also brands that genuinely took inspiration from the monster idea and made something unique with it. I wouldn't count those as fakes. Maybe when I was younger, I would have, but I can acknowledge that they're not now. But yeah, if you guys would like to see more videos like this, there's definitely more fakes out there that I could show you guys. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you're having a happy new year, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!